in the western district of Chegegua alone, 168 households are headed by children. These are said to have either been orphaned or abandoned. The area woman member of parliament is worried. The headers of these households are girls. There will be some girl who will stand in and be the mother of her siblings and be the mother of these relatives because sometimes they pick the girl from an uncle to come and take care of these children who have been left by the, the parents. Flavia Kabahenda is also the chairperson of the Uganda Parliamentary Forum on Social Protection. She wants government to come to the aid of such households. And so I would like to implore our government to really be real to this country, to be sincere to the people of this government, that they will go deeper into analyzing the data they gave, 39% households, to give us the who are, which ones are headed by women, which ones are headed by older persons, which ones are headed by children, and then we as policy makers can come up with the policy. Other members of the forum speak in affirmative. But it can be removed by uh, two things. One, sensitizing the family where death has occurred, that much as you have lost uh, your brother or your sister, you can maybe distribute these children among yourselves and you help them to grow. This came to the fore during a training workshop on social protection financing. The quest was to advance the need for more social protection activities, hence the need for the Child Disability Fund. There are also other indirect costs of disability due to decrease in productivity. So all these households, most of these mothers and these children, it means they don't go to the garden. It means that it's going to be a cycle of poverty. This presentation attracted a cocktail of reactions from members of the Parliamentary Social Protection Forum. We need to, to get a strategy on getting people informed so that when they know, then there may be prevention and society might be more willing to hold on to them. The MPs agreed with a call for more interventions. There's the cases of men who have low sperm count has increased because of this purpose. And performance in men who grow up in the villages without purpose, the ones who grow without knickers, those small kids, their performance, you, you can see from Karamoja and my village, they perform well. We need to remove taxes from pampas. Yes, I've had another version from somewhere that those who use the pampas get some problems. But I think we can also segregate with the pampas. The training engagement was held under the theme social protection financing making a case for enhanced budget allocations henry okrut ubc thank you very much thank you.